Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of What the F with Sunny LaRue, me, also known as a professional martini drinking blogger. Back again with another episode and child, we are back to talk about another lawsuit, but this one I think have a happy ending. But before we get into it, you guys know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you won't miss out on breaking news, updates, recaps, and more. It is the freest and easiest way to support the channel. And if you like to follow me on social media, I'm on all platforms. My handle is at SunnyLaRue17 or simply Google SunnyLaRue17 and all of my links will populate and you can follow me through those means. Now let's get into the thick of this lawsuit because there's a lot to unpack. All right, guys, we're back with another lawsuit. You know how we are. We love our lawsuits on this channel. This time, this lawsuit is kaput. One and done, check off in the books, okay? And that's the lawsuit between Riley Keel, um, Lisa Marie Presley's daughter, and Priscilla Presley, her grandmother. And they came to a settlement. Now, this is according to People Magazine and Rolling Stones. But we're going to talk specifically about the People uh, Magazine article because this was interesting. So judges ap approve Riley, I can't pronounce her name, so I'm going to call her Kay. Riley Kay and Priscilla Presley settlement confirming Priscilla's $1 million payment in burial near Elvis. A hunk, a hunk of burning love. A hunk, a hunk of burning love. Yeah, Elvis was something else, wasn't he? Let's talk about it. Months after Riley Kay and Priscilla Presley reached a settlement agreement over Lisa Marie Presley estate, it's been officially approved by the LA Superior Court judge. Judge Lynn Scudato signed the agreement. She picked up a pen, looked at the agreement, thumbed through it like, oh, yeah, okay, that's good. I'll sign. Come on, you know it. Agreeing on, uh, agreeing, confirming among other things that Priscilla, 78. Oh, child, Priscilla is 78 years old. Oh, look, Priscilla. That's a hard 78. I mean, compared to, uh, compared to like, well, Cher ain't hard. Cher is a beautiful woman. Cher is beautiful for her age. You look at Cher and it's like, girl, girl, what's your secret? <laughs> you look at Tina, the late Tina Turner. Yeah, beautiful women in their, in their later age. It seems like they just get better or got better with the time, but all right, Priscilla Hard, that's a hard 78. We'll receive one million lump sum payment funded by Lisa Marie's $25 million life insurance policy that her son, uh, Navarone Gabardi, Lisa Marie's half brother, will be a beneficiary of Lisa Marie's trust and to the extent that she has the authority to do so. Riley will permit Priscilla to be buried near her ex-husband Elvis Presley at Graceland upon her death. Whoa, ching for Priscilla. Though many of the terms of the settlement was pre previously reported by people, Riley 34 officially became the sole trustee of her late mother's estate. Uh, the Daisy Jones and the sixth actress attorney, Justin Gold, filed an unredact copy of the agreement, which has been obtained by people. So the unredact, unredact means that they're not covering up the names. You see everything. Settlement, the terms of which were the first agreed upon in May, reveals that in addition to the lump sum payment, Priscilla will also be paid $100,000 a year for her role as a special advisor of the Promenade Trust related to its shareholders' interest in the Elvis Presley Enterprises, a non-fiduciary world. The payments will be the payments will which will be doled out monthly installments are agreed to for 10 years or until Priscilla's death, regardless of whether. Riley ever terminates Priscilla Rowe as a special advisor, according to the document. So here's basically what it says. 
she gets a lump sum of a million dollars from this $25 million uh, life insurance policy that the late Lisa Marie Presley had. She gets $100,000 a year, which is broken down into monthly payments. And let's say like, you know, Riley's like, Grandma, you don't, you can't be the special advisor no more. Okay, I'll step down, no problem. But you're still going to pay me and she's still going to get that $100,000 a year. Okay, keep that in the back, file that in the back of your mind because we're going to talk about something else. When I was researching this, I found out some more information. We're going to talk about that later because I was like, you getting all this and you're saying this does, it does not make sense. But we finna make it make sense. Lisa Marie right. Presley, the only child of Elvis Presley, died of a small bowel obstruction in January. So it's been a year. At the age of 54, she was the sole heir of Elvis. And after her death, Priscilla filed a petition contesting the authenticity, authenticity and validation of the 2016 amendment Lisa Marie had made that removed her mama and her former business partner, a manager as co-trustees and put things in the hand of Lisa Marie's children instead, which is a good thing. And I'm sorry, Priscilla, Grandma Presley. Come on. This, this is her kids. Priscilla and Riley eventually reached their settlement, which also put Riley in charge of the subtrust of her 15-year-old half-sister, Harper and Finley Lockwood. Their dad, Lisa Marie's ex, Michael Lockwood, signed off on the agreement on their behalf. Of course he did! Because he knows that if he kept fighting, they might not get nothing. And this is a good thing. Because now... Riley is the one that's going to be signing off on the checks. And ain't nothing going out without Miss Riley's approval. I mean, Miss Riley could just sit back and let the money in. She don't even have to act no more. Just saying. The document said that Riley and Lockwood insisted upon the court approval of the settlement agreement because Hopper and Finley are represented by a guardian, Ad Liam, and his authority to enter into a settlement agreement on their behalf is only valid to the extent that it's approved by the court. Now, even these two kids got got a, 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 a guardian. What in the shenanigans is going on down in Graceland? As beneficiaries, Riley Harper and Finley would all equally split eight ninths of Lisa Marie's trust with Priscilla's son, uh, Navone Gabardi, will receive the remaining one ninth. Damn. As for Priscilla's burial plans, the document indicate that both she and Riley desire for Priscilla to be buried at Graceland. To the extent of her uh, author authority, Riley agrees to allow Priscilla to be buried in the medium garden as close to Elvis as possible without moving any existing grave sites. The settlement says Riley also agrees to include Navon in the planning of any memorial service, plus any Priscilla name as her executive and anyone she names in her will as someone she wants to participate. So basically, this is what happened. Okay. This is Riley. Grandma, how you doing? Yeah, I know it's been a minute. Listen, I know things haven't been the best between us, but we need to figure this out. And I want to do it as amicably and respectfully as possible. Why don't you come over to, I'll, I'll send, you know, a, a car service over. You come on over to the hotel. I'll have some tea, crumpet and coffee and snacks and cakes and little Debbie snick snacks waiting. And you and I, we're going to sit down and hash this shenaza out. What do you say, Grandma and Priscilla? Well, Riley, I, I you know, I, okay, that seems like a good idea. And Riley's like, yeah, it is a good idea because the, the alternative is we keep fighting and, and no one wins. Let's just work it out. Okay, Riley, um, when, when do you want me to come over? Uh, Grandma, the car is on this way. 
So be ready. They're going to pick you up and bring you over to the hotel. Uh, uh, hotel? Yes, Grandma. I I'm at the Beverly Hilton. Uh, I I'm filming and I'm taking a break from filming. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know. I'll text you when the car service arrives. Okay, okay. Priscilla gets into the car, drives over to the hotel. They meet. They're drinking coffee, tea. They're eating crumpets. They're reminiscing. They're laughing. They're loving. My words, my thoughts, my shady assness. Okay? Without the attorneys. And then Riley drops it on her. Listen, Grandma. This is how it was going to be. I'm giving you a million dollars for mom's uh, life insurance policy. Now, you can stay on as a special advisor. If you want to stay on as a special advisor, you're only going to get 100000 a year. And that's going to be dealt out over months. Okay? For the next 10 years until you die. Whatever comes first. And speaking of death, I'll let you be buried up at Graceland. No problem. But this is the plot that you're getting, okay? This is as close as you get to granddaddy. I ain't digging up no bodies. Now you take this plot or you could take the plot further away, but this is it. What do you say? <laughs> and Priscilla says, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. And Riley says, all right, you call your attorney. I'll call mine and we'll work. We'll have them drop the papers. You sign, I'll sign and we'll get it over to the judge. We'll fast track this ish, the shenazzo and be done with it. I can go on and do my thing. You can go on and do your thing and we'll be all happy. In August, an interview with Vanity Fair August, last August, who welcomed Riley, who welcomed a daughter to Lipo Storm last year, made it clear that things with her grandmother had settled. Things with grandma will be happy. They never been happy, she said. This is Riley. There was a bit of upheaval, but now everything is going to be how it was. She's a beautiful woman, and she was a huge part of creating my grandfather's legacy at Graceland. It's a big responsibility she had tried to take on. None of that stuff has really ever been a part of our relationship prior. Just She's just been my grandma. Priscilla, meanwhile, tells The Hollywood Reporter the same month that she and the granddaughter are on good terms. We were never not on good terms. That was all publicity, she said. We understand that we need what needs to be done. I'm there for her. She knows that. She wants me to be there to help her. And I think another reason why they did it this way in making Riley the sole, the sole um, uh, person over the estate and everything and, and legacies and stuff like that is to keep the money out of the hands of Lisa Marie's ex-husband, the father of, of her twins, because he was trying to be greedy too. But now everything goes through Riley, which is a good thing. So all parties are happy. They sign the papers. They're going off to Graceland. They're going to have a hunk, a hunk, a hunk of burning love. A hunk, a hunk of burning love. Eating their teas and crumpets and all that other schnazzle. <laughs> but what do you guys think of this story? I mean, this is a good, this is, this is a good ending, you know. It could be worse. It could still be fighting. The Lord knows. And at some point, some things need to end. But let's continue the conversation down in the conversation box below. And with that, of course, I have more stories to bring to you. So I'm going to get back at it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, my little lambs.